to show once again just wanted to show like how much progress I've made in the game at the beginning of the stream it's kind of what I like to do to start off World of Light streams but yeah we've cleared 415 tiles out of 615 so 200 more although I'm not going to be clearing all of them most likely I will get a true ending reach though I will do that once um I might fight the Gleam and Darkon rematch once as well. Like once for each of them. But I'm not sure on that one yet. And then I definitely haven't awakened all the fighters yet. And we're not going in this as Chrome. But, um, who's good against Marks? I mean, Pikachu and Pikachu would be good. So you need someone that's fast. And then small hitbox as well. It's gonna help a lot. If I first try this, that would be insane. So don't expect that. It's probably gonna take a few minutes. So I might not even be able to do it in this stream because it's only gonna be like a 30 minute stream. But then I'll be back. Unlike last night when I said I was gonna be back, but never came back. Um, I know what this move is. Oh. Thought I did at least. Laser. Monka W. Wait, is my mic? Okay, yeah, I just didn't want to be silent for a minute straight or whatever. Beginning of the stream. Pikachu is so broken. Look at how much damage output he gets. Oh crap. Oh. Yeah. Those are broken as well. Oh. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You don't want to be hit by his teleport move. Or portal move, not teleport. Or that. Oh, I thought I could crouch underneath it. Oh, that broke shield. I done messed up. Okay, we're good. Wonder if I should go for Thunder there. I think Thunder is too risky to actually go for in this. I mean, there's not really a reason to. But Pichu does seem to be the best one for this. I'm probably going to be using Pichu for the final boss as well. I'm not going to spoil the final boss, so. Oh. I have fought the final boss before, as you saw by my 100% completed run and true ending reached. Okay, so that was weird. Oh, that time he went out fast. Oh, and then those. You gotta attack him from underneath. Attacking him from underneath is actually, like, really safe for some reason. Okay, he's about to split, isn't he? Boop. Boop. Oh, crap, seeds. I mean, as long as one doesn't fall on top of me, oh my god, we can just stay still. Oh, I expected him to come from underneath again and then one-shot me. Yeah, we're gonna be close on this first try. Oh, sorry, for hitting my mic there. I don't wipe my eye. I don't know why I'm like so itchy and stuff now. Okay, that was a really smart play, but I didn't really have any other option except to fall into that. Next time, um, I'll be better. Okay, yeah, this is why we need someone fast. It's because of that. Pichu's actually like the best character for this fight, because he's the best character in the game as well. Eh. His eyes. That's not healthy, Marks. Yeah. Thunder's definitely not worthwhile to go for. And then, yeah, you just have to avoid that. You can stand underneath him and do it and get a lot of punishes, but I wanted to play it safe. Because I don't remember the move that well. Other than that, you can stand underneath it. Okay, yeah. Oh. Ooh. You, yeah, you, you would need to get out of there as fast as possible. I think in the last stream, I bought, um... Increase air dodge time and spot dodge stuff like that, or like it happens faster. Ooh, that hit me. How? I don't understand. Get some pokes in with forward air and there. But yeah, we're gonna be close. His damage opens less than a lot more than it was. Okay, yeah, we gotta be very careful here. This is where Pichu comes in handy as well. It's getting in all these small places. It's very hard to hit. Only moves that should hit me are Laser Beam, and that one move where he comes out of the ground. 
if I play properly. But yeah, I didn't play properly there. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to be able to first try, but that was close. This try should be a little bit better, as I am... I have strategies for avoiding laser, I just didn't do them right last time. And I watched a cutscene at the beginning of the first fight, so I got enough stuff for the thumbnail of this video. Whenever it's on YouTube, or whatever. I don't really upload on Twitch. I don't even think I can, because I'm not, um, whatever it's called. Um, an affiliate, I couldn't think of it off the top of my head. I'm about to be an affiliate, though. All I need is just, um, average of three viewers, but... I'm at, like, 2.1, maybe. It might have went back down to 1.9 after yesterday. I usually get a lot of views off of, um, viewer battles, because a lot of people want to play Smash Brothers with streamers. Surprisingly. I don't know why anyone would want to do that. But yeah, viewer battles have definitely helped me in Smash Bros. Meant like in the last viewer battles I lost for like two hours straight and then one for an hour straight, so... If that's not improvement, I don't know what is. Okay, so you can't even shield that. That... Like, you have to jump over it, I think. I don't know if it's an active hitbox or if it's just for the first frame you're in it, so you have to s I actually don't know how to avoid that. Maybe you can stall? You can stall using school dash, maybe. That's just weird. But I really wish a stage was um, in regular ultimate. I, I don't know why they didn't add it. It looks so nice. In the background. Like, imagine this, but like a Final Destination, or I mean Omega and um... What's it? Omega and Battlefield forms of the stage. They look, they look so nice to play on. And the music's really nice as well. I'm pretty sure you can listen to the music though. I haven't listened to all the songs in a row though in Ultimate, so I don't know if they're on there or not. But yeah, I messed up there. I forgot that when he's under half, he goes for that move twice. So you can't just sit on top of him. Because they like go inside of him for some reason. Even though they're not visible, they're still there. So what's he going for? Okay, he's going for this move. That move's insanely easy to dodge. But yeah, Lucina's supposed to be here somewhere. Oh. I spot dodged. I mean, not spot dodged, air dodged early. Sorry, my head's itching now. I mean, it's been hitching, um, itching all day. I'm not hitching. Don't want any moves to become stale in this fight. Forward air will most likely become stale a few times, because I like forward air. I didn't remember where those went, so I thought I died. I mean, I don't think that'll kill me if it comes out of the ground. Whenever it falls, it doesn't hurt too badly. Yeah, you gotta, like, spot dodge as soon as it gets open, whenever it opens that fast. If it opens slower, then you have time. But, like, if you don't get out of the way quickly whenever it does it like that, then you die. Okay. Got two th Thunder didn't do anything, so it's not actually worth it to do, looks like. Oop. He dropped that early. I mean, not early, late. That was actually, like, super late. But you have a lot of invincibility times on rules whenever you get that one upgrade on the skill tree, so I can just, like, spam dodge and be fine. Even though I don't have it where, um, you can just do that and not get punished. Because there is a skill tree thing that makes it where it's harder to punish you if you just spam rules and air dodges, spot dodge, all that kind of stuff. Nintendo Switch. I mean, Marks is on the Kirby game on the Switch, the Star Allies, as a dream friend. Okay, so you can stand there and be fine. Oh, I forgot about that move. Ooh. That move hurt, but I got health back from it for parrying the first hit. So maybe I just parry off of that and just stand next to it. Claw Farm parries off of that. It's not too hard to parry. All you have to do is just spam shield. But 
yeah, it's not actually worthwhile to spam thunder. It puts you at a really bad spot later on. So yeah, he just is launching that now. As soon as it's next to me, it looks like. Okay, so this move. Um, this move's not too dangerous. All you have to do is kind of do that. And you're safe. And then you stand here. Yeah. I've got this fight down. I just need to do better next time at the beginning. Oh. I mean, that really just does damage. Like, if Pichu... This fight, Pichu's gonna take a lot of damage, obviously, because he hurts himself with electricity. So having damage is kind of inevitable, playing Pichu. I mean, playing Pichu, like, the good, th the advantage of doing that, other than the fact that he's top tier, and I died there, it, it teaches you to not worry about damage as much if you're new to ultimate. Because a lot of people are just too afraid to approach sometimes. Like, if a fox is spamming laser, you don't just sit there and let him spam laser and try and roll past it, because then that's what he's supposed to, or that's what he's trying to make you do, is to try and make it where you want to do a save option to get past it. But what you're supposed to do is you're just supposed to run up and hit him, because he has a lot of, um, in lag on the laser. Like, as soon as he starts spamming it, then... I accidentally up aired. Yeah, we're just gonna restart. Continue. But yeah, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to just run up to him and hit him because that way you won't get up smash out of shield or up special out of shield anything Fox can do if you try and approach safely. Because whenever you're in shield and ultimate or you're trying to play it safe, that's really bad if someone's playing aggressively. Unless you can, like, you have to kind of counter their aggression almost. You can't just sit inside of shield and expect to not get hit and not take any damage from that, because you're still going to get hit if you play defensively. Which is one advantage Smash Ultimate has over Smash 4, I think, is the fact that you can't just play defensively for the entirety of the game. And that makes characters like Jigglypuff bad in Ultimate. I think I put Jigglypuff as mid-tier on my tier list, but that's going to change, probably. Because you can play Campy Jigglypuff like h Walk does in Melee, and it work, but it's not going to work as well as... Like Campy P2, if you can play Campy P2, then that would be really ideal, but he's more of an aggressive character anyway. Maybe it's because I don't have my P2 ult that I normally wear, which is a spikier one. Okay, so that's not active. It's just active for like one frame. I think that's how that works. I mean, Snake could be good in this fight. No, Snake actually wouldn't be awful in this fight. I was just thinking of damage output, but Snake would be really bad because he's slow. Slimer and Richter would get destroyed by the laser beam, and also that move would destroy them pretty badly. I get hit my P through there, so I didn't back up. I should have backed up though, I just didn't shield and expected not to get hit. I stale another move, then I won't have to worry. So yeah, you just want to stand where that rock is, pretty much. Is what I've learned. Okay, and he did a different pattern that time of the thing. Little branches, I don't know what that move is for marks, but he did a different one. Oh, okay. So we got very lucky there. I was like, well, there went the run, but somehow we're still alive. But yeah, you can do stuff like that whenever he's doing that move. You just have to time it right. 
Yeah, we're gonna get close this time, but I don't think that this is a run. Oh. Yeah, that catches rules. You gotta roll in. Blimp. I'm just, like, barely moving the movement state whenever that happens. Maybe I can crawl fast out of the way. So we got it down to his name. I just need to play carefully. This could be the run. I had it. Ooh, I think I'm living. Oh, no. Why? Why did that... Pichu's too tall. He's too big. Pichu's too big. They should make him smaller. But yeah, there's actually nothing I could do there because I rolled. If I would have, like, jumped air dodge, maybe. I just didn't think that would work. I think he would, like, try and move the laser up. But you can just kind of outrun that move. It's P2. As long as you don't walk back onto it. Like, if he does it at one of the corridors where I usually rotate to, because I usually do it like that, just run to the other side. As soon as I reach the corner, you don't want to do that. So yeah, the phase one of that, you can shield, but you can't shield any of the other phases of it. But ice projectiles going so fast now. I was doing better at stopping them before, but now I just run into them every time. See, like, that's what I normally do is I run to, like, right there and then I just turn around and I do that on the other side as well. And that's kind of a bad habit in this fight. I mean, he can't really punish it. Unless he waits in the corner and does a delayed one. Which I don't even think he can change the speed, which that happens. Okay, yeah, we're good. I thought maybe I could stay on the ground and crouch there. So, like, if you would have done it there, I thought that you might have done that there, so I air dodged, so that way I wouldn't be able to move as fast. But if I wouldn't have air dodged like that, then I would have been hit for sure. And then he's gonna do this again. Oh, oh Nintendo Switch. Teleport portal. Okay, that time I had to hold it down. Him teleporting to the center is the best option. But yeah, we can literally just stand here and they never hit me when I'm right here. Oh, he did it down. Okay. So you can't just stand underneath him during that. I didn't expect that to happen. That's new. New information. We're alerting. That's the good part of this fight. We're gonna have to do it again later. I guess that's spoilers, but we are gonna have to do that again later, or this again later. But we get a save point whenever that happens, so that's good. If you know what I'm talking about and you're kind of worried about how dangerous it's going to be and like how difficult, we do get a save point there. So That's got to be fun, is all I'm going to say. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, you do not- or I guess being underneath him was fine there. So I could just shield the first hit. As long as my shield's not too far down, I should be fine I'm doing that. Oh, that time they went there? Yeah, they went there again as well. That's weird. They changed the pattern on me like that. And then I get to shield that, so... That's what I'm gonna do from now, let's just shield that move. There's no reason to risk it. If I don't have to risk anything, then I'm not going to risk it. That's what you should do during a boss fight like this. Let's see, like, I don't have to risk an up air there. 
Should I? Probably, but I'm not going to because I don't have to. I can just get damage in later. Oh. He didn't go all the way out like I thought he was. I had to stretch my. Oh. Okay, that's bad. Okay, we're safe for now. Yeah, we're good. I was like, is he gonna do that all the way up and I'm gonna die, or...? Because I would have to, like, short hop that perfectly. Okay, that was good. Oh, I jinxed myself there really badly. Okay, all of its attacks are becoming faster. Okay, yeah, that could have been really bad really quickly. Yeah, everything's fast now. He's gonna do it three times this time, I bet. Mm -hmm. Still two. I mean, I'm not gonna complain too much about that, actually. Yeah, but that literally just breaks your shield, so all you have to do is just roll through it. Because it doesn't actually have any knockback. Unless you get your shield broken. And then it combos into stuff. Oh crap, this move. Bad RNG. Ah, oh, yeah, that's really unfortunate. Okay. We're still alive, though. He's like one shot, so if he actually kills me here, I'm gonna be kind of mad. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. He's one of the easier bosses. It's gonna be... I mean, I guess it's coming up pretty soon. We're about to do something that's kind of cool, I guess, in a way. Or no, we got a fight before that, actually. Never mind, we got another boss fight to do. We have a few more boss fights to do, actually. Well, not before what I was saying was gonna happen. Yeah, we gotta find Lucina before we go. Because Lucina's in here somewhere. We do have a boss fight to do before we leave. And then I could get all the spirits that are here, but I just don't care. If I'm being completely honest, like Medusa or the Ancient Minister. How do I get out of here, though? I guess I go back to the road where the Ancient Minister was. Where is Lucina? Is my question. Cause I do need her. I mean, she's gonna be useful for spirits, I guess. She's not gonna be useful for boss fights, though. It would be nice to have my main rather than my main's Echo Fighter. I'm guessing she's up there, and I gotta get up there somehow. Don't know how I would do that, though. Let's see, we got this pirate ship, we got that connected to it. Some bubbles. Ah, uh, okay, I see what we're supposed to do. Gotta go all the way back. It's not too far to walk. I mean, we're gonna have a much longer walk to the exit. Because this dimension's kinda weird and it's very easy to get lost in. Because it doesn't really have a road, as you can tell. Um. How do I get up there then? Whoa, I didn't wanna do this. So you can't actually cancel it, you just gotta wait for the whole thing. Okay, so I go up here. Is that the only option I have? Because it's like character on the cloud. Maybe I have to go on the railroad? I 
There's this tree. Oh, there's like a tree that I haven't actually done. Where is that from? That's from down there. Okay, I know where that is actually. It's near the pipe. I see what we're supposed to do. So yeah, then we gotta go all the way down here. Down and around. Oh, gotta go up this pipe. Down and around. And down down here and then we go from here all the way around and stuff like that stamina battle we have peach is not gonna be good here and it's um giant rob I mean it's a stamina battle if Richter doesn't work then we'll do snake you just have to use a projectile character. They kind of dominate stamina battles. So. Ready? Go! Go! Take this! Take this! Yeah, sorry about that. Had to talk to someone. Um, I'm gonna die though, so. Ah, uh, he figured out what I was doing. That's not good. He has a brain. The computers are gonna replace this one name. They are growing smarter. I mean... Sneak up kill? We could just use Inkling. And just side special. Over and over and over and over and over and over again. Just like what he's doing. Whoop, my stuff just fell, but it's okay. Because nothing was damaged. Here we go. That's what I like to see. Up tilt spam. Just a regular snake fight. Oh crap, he's got a star rod. Eh, he's just gonna waste it. You see that spot dodge? That was totally intentional. Just like that ledge grab. Completely intentional. I was about to say, he's not about to just down... Mm, he just down tilted me to death. He literally just down tilted. His down tilt takes up the entire map, though. Like, okay, that's this purely balanced there. Perfectly balanced. That's all things should be. Oh yeah, that's even more balanced, actually. Get up attack getting me from there. I mean Snake doesn't have a balanced final smash though. So I'll give him that. I wish he could just hit me once without killing me, and like get me to 2% or something. If I was at 2% I'd be at maximum power. He wouldn't be able to deal with my power at 2%, you know? I mean, we could just use Chrome. Chrome, kinda, would work well in this fight. It's not timed. It is a stamina battle, but it's not timed, so... I hate Snake. Snake's definitely low tier, for sure. Oh, Game & Watch is... Wait, Squirtle waits as much as Game & Watch? That's kind of weird, actually. I mean, I knew Game & Watch was light, but I didn't think he was third lightest in the game. I thought he was fourth. Fox and Mewtwo are tied for fifth. Which is kind of interesting to me. Because Mewtwo weighs like 300-something pounds, I think. Or it might be kilograms. Either way, he's massive. He shouldn't be a light character, unless Mario's massive as well, or whatever, you know? Up. Oh. Here we go, stamp! Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay. Fine, I'll get out Chrome. I'll just do it. I didn't want to bring out Chrome, but you forced this upon me. 
whenever you broke my shield with your neutral special. And then down tilted me. As I had an unbeatable approach who just literally down tilted me from across the map. I had everything planned out. He doesn't even have increased power or speed yet. Come on. Rob, stop playing lame. Stop using your advantages against me, Rob. I went off stage to escape it, but I still couldn't escape it. It's just too powerful. That thing hits all the way from like down here. That's that's the range of his forward smash angle downwards. His up smash isn't gonna hit me. There you go. Why was he facing away from ledge? Oh my god, this crumb's so stupid. I mean, Chrom is the best Fire Emblem character, obviously. Okay, I won't hold the shield button next time that I want to, you know, not take any damage. I'll just, um, stand still. Because I will avoid more hits when I stand still than whenever I shield an attack. Makes sense, right? I mean, he's just spamming up smash. I think I figured out the strat. Just spam forward tilt. What's your option? Okay, that's your option. That's a pretty good option. Oh crap, now he's just camping. Well, rip. Oh wait, he used an awful punish. I mean, he started to start to spam down tilt, which is probably its best punish in that scenario. Oh. No, I got final smash and I hit the B button. But of course, you know, Rob's down smash, the most powerful move in ultimate, obviously is superior to final smash in pretty much every way. Say there's no way that me escaping grab is gonna result in my death, right? I mean, it probably is. Come on, Rob, stop playing lame. Just get over here. How did he survive that? Flower is gone. Come on, Rob. Just play the video game. Uh, of course, he gets food. Don't make me bring out Kirby. There we go. Gotta hit him with that. That final smash is awful. That's gonna kill me. Okay, we're still alive somehow. I wasn't even hit. It hit my cape. All Rob does is he just sits in the middle of the stage, charges his Beyblade, and then just fires the Beyblade or neutral special from the other side of the stage. Or, you know, hits me with this giant forward smash. By the way, that did forward smash or down smash did. Let's see, I had 120 and now I'm at 13, so somebody does the math on that. I'm not going to do it because I'm kind of mad at the moment. This fight's actually stupid. 
Let me just hit you with a move. Oh, by the way, did you know that Rob's grab takes priority over I- I mean, not Ike from forward tilt? I bet you didn't know that. Bet you didn't know that Ike's forward tilt comes out frame 500 as well, after it comes out on, like, frame 4, I guess? I don't know when Ike's forward tilt comes out the first time. Not Ike from. They're like the same thing. They have the same recovery. They both have swords. They're both anime Fire Emblem characters, so it's like the same thing, right? Not a single difference. Whenever he does that attack, I'm so dumb. Oh, my back sort of sends him nowhere. <laughs> Strong throws, by the way. Um. Crap. Well, now he's got a star rod that, you know, frame one star rod, obviously. But yeah, my throws literally send him nowhere. I can't even do a crombo on him. That's a knockback would be too weak. I mean, like, what's the point, honestly? <laughs> he could literally just tap me, and then I die. Ready? Go. See, that's what I mean, like, he could just tap me for 40%-ish. That's a little under 40%, actually, but... I did a Chrom combo, but he didn't be reverse because he's stupid. That looks so cool as well. All I had to do was just be reverse it, and we're, we we were golden. Because somehow Rob got in front of me. I mean, behind me, not in front. I don't know how he got in front, or whatever. Whatever position he was from me, I don't know how he got there. But it's kind of annoying. That he did get there. And that his down smash, you know, does 40% with each hit. Thank you, Chrome. Very cool. <laughs> Mark's was easier than this fight. I'll say that. Maybe that's what we need, is we just need Pichu. I mean, honestly, Pichu might work. Let's go. Oh, of course, it killed me first that time. Okay, we just gotta do that again and just hope it's one of the times where it kills the giant robot first. Because, you know, he's like seven times my size and damage output. But it'll kill me first, obviously. His recovery is busted as well, so I can't just, um, use Kirby. I mean, I could maybe use Peach Daisy. I wanted back shield so badly. That did so much percent. Not as much percent as that did. And I'm dead. I mean... Uh, I can't say anything. It just one-shots my shield. That's all I, I have to say, I guess, is that... Literally, he can do one move and it one-shots my shield. Or, you know, he does up throw for... 80%. That's right, 80%. And then forward smash just one shots my shield, and he can just down. He can just literally down smash frame one, like obviously. Like I know I'm not doing a frame perfect, like every frame, I could be punished or whatever, but that's still kind of insane. And then of course it misses by one frame. I mean one pixel. I was literally inside of him, but it still didn't hit. Obviously. Ready, 
I am pretty sure it'd be faster if I just let that play. See, obviously he would be able to down smash there. Like, obviously that's the most optimal punish in that situation. And, yeah, I mean, it just makes sense. He can literally do them on frame one, like... He can get out 80% in one frame. That's pretty good. Rob S S S tier, actually. Four S's. Better than Brawl Meta Knight for sure. I don't know how that worked, but I'm kinda mad. Or I'll just like, take it. <laughs> now I guess Chrom is S S S S tier. I almost said too many S's. I guess it would be a fifth S. Can Kirby not inhale? He can inhale Wispy Woods, but let's see what else you got. Waddle do. Um, I played Kirby before. He ate that one. He can eat Scarfy. He can eat Mr. Frosty. And Bugsy, you just gotta kill him first. But yeah, he can eat Wispy Woods. Um, I don't think Chrom's the best fit for this. I think it'd be Pikachu, maybe? Ready, go. This fight's not really that bad, though. Guess I'm gonna die to that, however. I mean, it's not that bad. There are worse fights that could have happened. Sure, if this was a stamina battle, then this would suck, but it's not a stamina battle, so it's not that bad. It's just a team battle. Team battles are easy because they die fast. The Kirby's do. Oh. Oh. That forward tilt with that does so much. Okay. What? Hey, next time actually hit me with the move. If you hit me with the move, I'm pretty sure it not only does more damage and more knockback, but it actually makes sense. So. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh. Okay, we're not dead, somehow. Chrom's not that bad. Oh yeah, he is actually that bad. Whoops, I forgot about that. Yeah, we're just gonna go in Snake. The snakes will actually do the best here. Up tilt time. Or... I have a plan. Ganondorf's heavy, so he's not gonna die in the wind unless he gets knocked off to the right side of stage, in which case he's definitely gonna die. But he's gonna kill the Kirby's the fastest out of any character, because I'm pretty sure his smash attacks do more than Bowser's. So. He's also got, um, Warlock Punch. See, look at that. Professional Ganon player here. You don't mess with my Ganon. My Ganon's OP. Ganondorf main now. Just be like, Nairo. Bloop. Oh, crap. That's what I thought, Kirby. You better back up. Oh yeah, up tilt. How did Chrom not get final smash in that last one? Oh. Okay. It doesn't do what I thought it did. Does that kill all? No, it just kills one. I mean, it got close. Oh, that really sucks. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, I was close. Continue. He's just playing like Ike, so that's the problem. Is Nair. 
Oh, also, I started a Pokemon challenge last night. Um, in case you're interested, I do play Pokemon games. I don't just play Smash Brothers, but... Yeah, I started a Pokemon challenge on my 3DS. I can't stream that, though, because I don't have recording material for 3DSs, but... Um, I'm in Generation 5 on White 2, and I'm doing a one-move-only challenge where I can only use the move Tackle, because that's the only move that I could start out the game using, and it makes sense. But yeah, that time the Kirby's got, um, the flower, so I kind of just gave up, and I was in the middle of talking, so... I'm not gonna be as focused as normal. But yeah, I got, like, 0 to 150, so... I just wasn't gonna win that fight. Okay, so I just wanted to test and see how that works. Oh, I accidentally did. Oh. Yeah, they can just hit you out of Warlock Punch with Jab. Because they're spirits. That really sucks. I mean, that was my only option with side special. I couldn't do anything else and get back. Am I dropping frames badly? Hope not. I didn't actually check that at the beginning of this match. <laughs> that Kirby just died. Oh man, I was gonna get a really cool read, but then the Kirby just had to ruin it, obviously. That's what these Kirbys do, is they ruin everything. King DDD is right. Oh, yep, that's unfortunate. I mean, why is there a Kirby that spawns whatever I side special in the air now? I, I try and gain inside offline, and it's like, oh yeah, they they're never there, they air dodge, but whenever I gain inside on here, they're straight in my hand. Instantly. The strong wind also doesn't help. I might go sneak in a second. Can you just duck underneath that? This is the most terrifying stage setup for Ganondorf. Like, if these were actually balanced spirits, then this would be interesting. Yeah, this fight's easy, by the way. I mean, that one match, I got really good luck, except I missed that one final match. I would've hit both final matches, and I would've done good. Yeah, now I can't even get back to the other side of stage. There we go. Oh, never mind. I'm just trying to get- I'm just trying to walk, please. And... Uh, of course it misses all of them, because it's not like Kirby's. Am I just gonna be constantly floating in the air after I do that? Oh man, that really sucks, but I give up. I'm going Snake, so I can just destroy all these Kirby's. I mean... How did that miss both times? I guess it knocked me up the first time. That's weird that it makes you jump after you final smash, though. A Snake. Obviously, Little Mac is going to be the answer in this fight. I mean, if Snake doesn't work on the amount of attempts I did with Ganondorf, then Little Mac might be the answer. This fight's going to be more annoying than I thought. What is this, like a three-star spirit? I think it is a three-star spirit, so that's probably why. Three -star sh are three-star spirits, to me, are more annoying than legendary spirits, because they're so much more common. And all they literally do is just destroy you in like three hits like that. Like, what was I gonna do there? I got grabbed by one, I was mashing as fast as I could, and I still got hit with a side special out of it. And then there, like I was stuck in the hit stun from the down smash, so then Kirby did a frame one up smash, because Kirby has that. So, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Whoop. What happened there? Uh, of course there's a bomb block there. Obviously. And of course the Kirby uses the block to extend its forward smash to be able to hit me right there. Like, it just makes sense. So ingenious of a strategy, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't think of it. I have no words for that one. 
Like, I have to hit the Kirby's to build up my final smash meter, but as soon as I get final smash, I get back air. And then I'm dead because it's, he can't make it back from that. Like, if he can, I'd be more surprised, but I just know that he won't be able to make it back from that. For sure. There's actually no way that Snake makes it back from that. Like, I'm just trying to get on the other side of this block so I can spam up smash, but even that doesn't work. This is a really bad spot. Okay, I need a wall behind me. Even though that wall behind me is kind of filled with explosives. These spirits are so annoying, the three servants. See, look, I didn't even kill any of them. It's Snake's final smash, and I didn't even kill Kirby. This is one of the lightest characters in the game. And they're literally going up to the top of the blast zone and surviving. Like, it doesn't make any sense at all. Okay. That makes more sense, though, actually. Snake's final smash, you know, it's only going to do 2% damage, has a knockback of about little max down air. And, um, Kirby's forward smash, oh yeah, that's just one-shots. I'm pretty sure that isn't even a one-shot at 120% in regular ultimate under these conditions. Like, without spirits. And, like, obviously, Kirby's back air is strong enough to break the super armor off of Snake's up special. It's just super armor and uh, aerial from a character with weaker aerials than, like, 90% of the cast. Snake's forward smash has 8% damage and has, like, no knockback. No good. That time it did less than 8, though. I guess it's stale already. Ah, uh, no, I went up special there. I would actually just side special. Call out Nikita right there. Makes sense. Ready? Go! This fight would be twice as easy if the Kirby's could actually die. Because it's like a Kirby team, so you would think that they would die, but the secret is that it's not a team. It's just a bunch of doubles matches. So then they just have regular knockback for a regular spirit. Because with a team battle, they have increased knockback, and um, whenever they take damage, they take more damage than normal. Because there's going to be a lot of them. But it's not a team battle, it's just a doubles battle, and you have a single one. So then it's a fair fight, basically. But it's just like a bunch of fair fights happening at once. Because with a team battle, even with no spirits, you could one-shot characters. Basically is how team battle works. But in this sort of format, they can one-shot you. So... Yeah. It's like, you get to become the team battle character. And two um, dash attacks do enough damage to do the same thing as a forward smash. Have the same damage output. In case you were wondering. I literally just want to kill one Kirby this time. And then that's still progress from the last time. But the time before that I killed two. I'm pretty sure that was the time before that. Whenever I got the Nikitas and they survived the first one, aren't Nikita about Final Smash? Or no, because there was one time I, I stayed with Nikita, so... I mean, honestly, I should be focusing on this, too. 
Like, I don't understand how they just survive that. I mean, it's not a move that you just kind of survive and you just shake it off. It's a final smash. Like, they shouldn't be able to just walk away from that even with spirits off. For going back to get, or maybe Bowser actually, because Bowser has range. I mean, Ganondorf has range with up smash, but he still doesn't do enough damage. I didn't think I would say that ever, but Ganondorf has too low of a damage output to be good. And so does Snake. I'm pretty sure Olimar's too light. So it wouldn't be worthwhile to use all of them. But yeah, Bowser seems to just be doing terribly because he can't even touch the ground for three seconds. Because he's too light. It's World of Light, I guess. Oh, hey, CC Industrial. But yeah, Bowser kind of just got bodied. Um, I don't actually know who to use here. I can't use Chrome because there's wind, so if I go to the right side of the stage, I kinda die. I guess that just kills every character. But I have to defeat the spirit to get progress going, so... I'll just be random, and then whoever I get is probably gonna be the best. I mean, Daisy's a really good character. If I get the bomb off of the first down special, then maybe. Oh, I mean, I got that. That's really good as well. Zero to 40. Oh, yeah, that's so stupid. That can happen. They know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bait out a smash attack. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. I thought I might be able to make that back, but as soon as I went underneath the stage, I knew it was over. It's insane how good these CPUs are. They play better than like level 9 CPUs do in standard ultimate. And this is on normal difficulty. This isn't even on hard difficulty. I'm pretty sure on hard difficulty this might be impossible. Spiritless. Unless you had a good character for the fight. But I tried using heavies and they kind of just get bodied and then their recoveries are so bad that they can't make it back to siege. And I tried Snake who has a broken final smash and his final smash couldn't kill anyone. And so then I just chose random. Maybe I could gimp the Kirby with Kirby. I mean, I get 60% back here. I mean, of course the Kirby's are actually standing up in a position to where they can eat the food. Or, you know, all the food just falls off the map. And then I hit a bomb, and I'm at death percent. I mean, why aren't we fighting on Dreamland 64? That's much more of a wispy width than this. It's not even true wispy. Yeah, um, basically like any character just gets um, pushed away by the wind against their recovery. And then the Kirby's just up special or smash attack like that. Or I guess that was slide special.
Well, and I just picked random, because heavies can't even stand on the ground. For some reason, Daisy can stand on the ground with the wind better than the heavies can. Which doesn't really make sense to me, because Bowser was sliding around a lot, but Daisy doesn't really slide around that much. I mean, I could maybe try Sonic. Or maybe I just do Kirby versus Kirby, but these Kirbys do a lot more damage than I do. But yeah, I literally couldn't do anything there because I got down smash, and so then I got stuck in um, hit sun. Oh, hey, CSC Industrial. I'm gonna try Pichu. Pichu did defeat Marks, so. Yeah. Okay, it does register as a Kirby team, but it doesn't function like a normal team fight does. Because when I think of um, team fights, I think of like the, um, the Yoshi fight from Smash 64 or some single player mode. Where they all just die in one hit. Or like the fighting polygon team, they all died in one hit. And they had like a lot of damage whenever you hit them as well. But these are more like a bunch of double fights all at the same time. Where they like tech on bricks that are falling out of the sky as the fight's going on. Yeah, that didn't work. Uh, maybe if I can do back air and just try and combo it into itself. But the wind might mess up my position our positioning on that. Not positioning. I was about to blow it up with Thunder Drill. If that Kirby keeps playing like it does, then I might be able to do this. It just depends on if the other Kirby's can play like that one. If I could stay here, that would be the best spot, but I feel like a block's gonna fall pretty soon on top. Yeah, that happened. Okay, I'll try a little Mac. Basically what I did there was I tech the hit, but I tried to tech another hit, but it I didn't need to tech it, so then I just buffered air dodge. Ready? And I was too low to be able to get backstage. I can just do that. This little mech. This is not where you want to be, this little mech. Oh no, I buffered air dodge. Okay, I'll retry that though. You can actually just hold down the, or I guess you kind of have to tap it to start um, the rapid jab, but you can do a rapid jab across the stage like I did there. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. I'll try Kirby after this game. 
It's like the main thing is, is I just can't get hit by the Kirby's in there. They have like extremely fast smash attacks in World of Light for some reason. And my smash attacks are very slow compared to theirs. Yeah, that. Or I didn't mean to rematch, but I'll try this one. Maybe I can get- oh wait, where did the steel diver go? Guess it just disappeared. <laughs> KO Punch is not gonna kill, surprisingly. I could do Game & Watch 9s, I'm pretty sure they kill in World of Light. There we go. I somehow hit both of them with that. They don't kill me for going for KO Punch. Okay, or just kill me for going for KO Punch. Wait, yeah, I'll try Kirby. Yeah, I didn't even mean to jump from ledge, or I don't even think I did jump from ledge, actually. I might have, though. I just tried to get a neutral get up. Because rolling from ledge, they could have tried to forward smash. Because of how small the platform is, they would have been able to connect it. Turn the hammer around in order to hit the bomb, so that way it would blow me up. Like, he wasn't even trying to hit me, he was just trying to hit the bomb behind me to get in damage. And then I got footstooled somehow. But yeah, I'm just gonna try and spam up special. Up special and down special, maybe. Well, I think that might work. Hold on one second. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Got confused where I was for a second as well. Oh no, he's got Steel Diver. This fight's basically over. That was extremely unlucky. The thing is, I have the Wind Resistant Spirit as well. And I don't think that this level is actually possible if you do it um, without using the skill tree. I don't think you'd be able to stand on the ground. It's 
Snake would be good, but his final smash doesn't kill the Kirby's. I already had tried Snake before, and he can't stand on the ground long enough to camp. I haven't tried Simon and Richard yet, though, so they might be the ones, actually. Continue. Yeah, this spirit is harder than the Mark's boss fight. Because with Mark's, all you have to do is just spam P2 aerials. Or at least that's what I did, and it worked. And then just air dodge whenever I needed to get out of the way of something. Yeah, when all the Kirby's get here, it's gonna be a little bit more chaotic. If it was just a one-on-one -on -one fight, or maybe just like a two-on-one -on -one fight with the Kirby's, I could probably do a two-on-one. -on -one. I just can't do it when there's three, because they one can literally just up special, and then the other one just wait for me to get up special and combo into something. Oh, I thought I killed the Kirby there. Yeah, I thought I finally got a kill with the whip. I just spam forward tilt, maybe. This forward tilt is really good for Simon and Richter. Simon and Richter. It's better than their forward smash, in my opinion, but their forward smash has more range of damage. It's just a lot faster. So it's really good if somebody's trying to approach you as them. Because if they're trying to approach you and they've already avoided your side special, then you can't really do much except maybe down special. But that depends on if your down special timer's ready. ready, go! But yeah, I'm pretty sure Lucina's on the other side of the spirit, so maybe it's gotta be worth it. I mean, I have, um, Marth already, but Marth's not gonna do well here. If I have Roy, he might do well. I don't know if I have Roy. But yeah, Mars not gonna do that well because I won't be able to land a tipper. For sure. And then Krom just dies on the side. He can't recover. Yeah, I'll try. Roy, if I have Roy. Um, no, I don't have Roy. I guess I can go back to Ganon. Ganondorf's able to kill them without having to struggle too much, but then if they just start spamming attacks in his face like a bunch of aerials, then he can't do anything. Thought that was where I needed it to be. I was trying to avoid that bomb. And I got footstooled. Okay. Yes, I am using a capture card. I think I don't have it linked on the info tab, but I should do that. I could probably pull it up on Amazon in a second. If you're wondering what capture card it is, it's actually pretty cheap. Yeah. Like, it's, it doesn't have a name, it's a weird thing though. It's just called like a capture card. It's not like an Elgato or anything like that. Yeah, that 
killed. Oh, yeah. I was gonna try and land a back air. I could try Fox and Falco. I just had to get hit so I could move back over here. But yeah. But yeah, I can try and find the capture card real fast on Amazon. It's just like one of the first results. And I'll put a link to it in chat. It's only gonna take a second. Copy. Okay, I'll try light swipers. Um, it's not letting me copy and paste. That's weird. But yeah, I'll just put the name of it, I guess. Um, so maybe I can copy that. Or no, I can't actually copy anything. So it's called like this, I'll just put it in chat. USB 3.0 HD game video capture card. I'll put a link into like the info tab on my Twitch probably after the stream. Yeah, I'll try the ice wipers after this. I should have waited on the other Kirby's to get back, so then I could have gotten a kill. Okay, um, okay up air's gonna kill. But yeah, I'll try Ice Slimers. But if I can freeze one, that'd be good. I don't know if I could freeze one and then worry about the others. And it also depends on if Nana wants to survive as well. Okay, yeah. Okay, I don't know how I did that. Yeah, there goes Nana, so if you didn't want to. Maybe I could respawn her with um, the final smash though. Or no, it just gets so low.
Yeah, their final smash covers a lot of the stage, so that's really good. Then I don't have to worry about aiming it. Okay, I might be able to take off the wall. No, the wall wasn't built up enough. Yeah, this closes the light bend, so I think I'm gonna stick to them. Because if both of them can stay alive for that long, then I will be able to do it. I also got kind of lucky because two Kirby's of being off stage for some reason. They're not even near the ledge. I don't know why she just decided to go into the blast zone there, but I guess it was her decision. Ready, go. I wish that you could enable autopilot SM if you did like a certain command input. And that's how you would get them back to stage, and then outside of that, Nama wouldn't be controlled by a CPU half the time, and then. That way, life hybrid would actually be useful characters of ultimate. But yeah, half the time you can't even control half of your character. and this is gonna help out a lot. like the last part of it. Continue. Oh hey BJ, it's on your Kirby, but there's like seven more, so then I get hit by that one who's waiting for me to get the other Kirby off of me or waiting for me to air dodge and then punish that. And then there's another Kirby to combo off of one of the Kirby's punishes, which then gets comboed by another Kirby. So that's this fight, pretty much. And then there's also wind, so if you go too far to the right, then you die. I mean, Ice Slider's recovery actually kind of helps out a lot of that. Okay, I have them desync now, so. Uh, okay, you do Rocky. Or rocking W cheese. Ready? Go. 
See, I can deal with two Kirby's at once using an Ice Climber. I can't deal with three at once. So I need to get one to a high enough percent to where they're just off the stage for most of the time like that one is. And then I'd be good. Here, let me try and get on ledge. So I can reset my position. Oh, there goes Nana. We'll rip this run. I mean, last time I did good with Sopo. But, or I guess that was the time before. Usually I don't even live long enough for Sopo. One down. Nair trades with down air. Noted. And it also wins the trade as well. At 187, obviously, I guess. I hit Popo but not Nana. When Nana was standing right next to it. Yeah, I can't make it back to see. Okay, I barely made it back, but Nana's not gonna make it back. Hold on one sec. Yeah. I might not even be able to do this one this stream. Because they can back air me into a place where I can DI in and still have strong wind that literally makes it where I can't recover on the right side of the stage and it still kills. I can get a desync in, then maybe. If I can desync their side specials. That was just unlucky. There were no blocks there. And Wispy decided that he was going to start blowing in that direction. Because Hathers were on. If Hathers weren't on, this fight would probably be over by now. But I don't know, Hathers kind of helped because they allow me to get a wall. But I still really can't do anything. Even with the wall. Because the wall has explosives inside of it half the time. And so if I go next to the wall, I get... 20% of damage just from standing next to a wall or higher if they hit me into the bomb. If I hit the bomb myself, then I get 20, I think. starting to have knockback now, so that's good. Now I just need to bait them all into the center, like they are now. That one underneath died, yep. Sadly, the wall decided to go that way. Had to use this other final smash now. I think it depends on what direction I'm holding for the wall to go. Continue. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna do two more attempts and then I'll leave for a bit and come back to this. Because this makes the marks look like a joke. Or this makes pretty much any boss that I've fought so far in the game look like a joke. Not just marks. 
Okay, see you, B-Drains. Nope. Not slight special. So I'll add one attempt to that. Yeah, I think Ice Flyers are going to be the way to go for this spirit. Even though they don't have as much damage output or as a broken of a final smash, they're just consistent so far. They've killed more Kirby's consistently. Even though Nana's not that consistent. attempt and then I do have to go. But I should be back after I go. I just have to go for like 10 minutes maybe. I tried to up special out of that, and even that didn't help. But yeah, my up special wasn't good. But yeah, when I get back, I'll attempt this some more. It's gonna take a couple of times, it's the problem. So, I thought this was gonna be an easy spirit, but I didn't think it was like um, heavy wind, I guess. I thought it was just regular wind. If it was regular wind, then this fight would definitely be over by now. But yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes, I just have to go, so.